Now, and that's it. You can just stick it in the fire. I have it lined up with the back of the handle like flat, like so, so I can actually just lay it in the fire like that so the flux may run out and also it'll just heat up a little bit faster. I'm just gonna bring it up to orange heat, but not quite. Color red, put on some flux, and then we gotta go through the whole thing of forge welding it together. When you see that the fire is, the metal is yellow, like a lemony yellow, that's what they talk about. When it's a yellowy lemon color, and the fire is yellowy lemon surrounding it, you know you have to forge while it heats, and then you won't get too many sparks. Okay, let's take it out. You must remember to take off. Blended everything in. Yeah, that's one solid mass now. It's at a dull red now. So the next step is to kind of try and draw this out into a long enough sleeve. Um, Double sway, uh, double, double fullering um, spring swage that I welded. I just took two high tensile bits of high carbon steel, and then I welded it onto a little bit of rebar. And I'm going to use that now to fuller uh, some grooves into the piece that's going to be the eye. Because I'm thinking rather than trying to forge out the the shoulders of the axe, you know, the, at the side, yeah. usually the sh shoulders here, one drawing down, one drawing up, rather than doing that, I'm thinking actually fullering downwards, and that way I should be able to make the eye and gain a bit of length as well. Now I did start one already, as you can see, and it's a little bit too far away, I needed more towards there. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit and try to get that fullering in the direction that I want it to be. Yeah. I don't think it would last for very long. I gotta make something for that. Still gonna widen those fullers a little bit. So when I'm done, I'll uh, I'll show you the end result. There's no point washing. I mean, you get the idea. Would have probably be better to just angle grind these out, but I like the zigzaggy effect that it's probably going to give in the pattern. Okay. So now I'm going to bend it into the right shape. I am putting this in a lot of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you call it. I'm giving it a lot of bending, whacking, fullering, and that's normally what you wouldn't, you would not normally do this. Okay, I cut the handle off just for more control, and I'm just heating one end of it, so that should make it easier to actually bend it. Where do you want to go? And on a of course. Right, that's 
got the angle that I want. That's it. You can see this side is a bit long, so I'm going to cut it off there. Um, and now I'm going to take this leaf spring. That is from the Bicycle Power Hammer High Carbon Steel, and that's going to be the insert. But first, I'm going to have to figure out how to actually um, bend this in a, in a good way. Wrap it around something would be good. So let me just see if I have anything. I just need a little bend. Ah, you bugger. Well, I might just get it anyway. Ah, just hoping I'm not messing this up with the vice grips now. Ah, that's good. That's all I needed. Me out. There we go, leaf spring straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into it so it's the same width here, uh, so it'll fit perfectly, and then I have a nice wide section. I'm going to just cheat a little bit. I could, you know, I don't know. I could, I suppose, I could forge it down. See that there? That's what it's going to look like. Unfortunately, I'm taking it outside because it's getting dark in there. Unfortunately, I discovered a crack running all the way through the middle of that leaf spring. Even though it's a brand new leaf spring, um, when I whacked it with a power hammer so quickly, it, you know where, it, like it bent here and then it squished it together but then somehow a crack formed here. So I'm going to have to redo that tomorrow now. Um, you know, I put so much effort into this. If I harden this now, it'll definitely crack. You know, there's no point. In keeping with the bicycle concept, I'm going to just forge weld this spanner in there. First, I'm going to turn these up and then basically forge weld that in after cleaning it off well, because it has, it's drop forged, so it's high carbon steel, but it definitely and I'm going to spark test it, but it definitely has uh, some kind of coating on it. Uh, probably vanadium, chromium coating, which is highly poisonous, and I don't want that um, anywhere near me, so I'm going to just clean it off. And then what we'll do is, after that clip of me straightening that out, I'll just weld it here and there, cut it off there, weld it there and there, and then uh, we'll get straight into the forge welding. Now one pretty clean spanner. 